All right, my friends, here we go. <laughs> Castlevania II Simon's Quest. Prologue. Step into the shadows of the Hell House. You've arrived back here at Transylvania on business. <laughs> That's a pretty quick scroll. To destroy forever the curse of the evil Count Dracula. Count, comma, Dracula. That comma doesn't hang below the line either. It's very weird. This game looks really ugly. The 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 right away, like I don't know, it looks really bad. <laughs> Speed run? Uh, no, this is this is going to be a snail run. <laughs> so this is a this is a semi blind playthrough. Um, a lot of it's been spoiled for from me like for me, like I said. But we're gonna try and go through without a uh, without any knowledge or hints or help. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very lost. This will probably be a struggle, but hopefully a fun one. Okay. First thing to do in this town is buy a white crystal. So you can see the you you can see the whip on the right hand side when it goes off the screen on the left. It is some wraparound happening. Um, I understand this game has different endings, and I believe them to be based entirely on how quickly you beat the game. So we'll almost certainly get the bad ending because I plan on exploring everything, talking to everyone. A crooked trader is offering bum deals in this town. I don't know. I don't know exactly how secrets work in this game, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be looking around for them a lot. A fun struggle. <laughs> a fun struggle. A fruggle. Sure. <laughs> Ban Pookie. Uh, uh, rest here. Rest here for a while. That text goes by real fast. Oh, hang on. Ah. My white crystal, yes or no? I don't think I have any. Uh... I didn't think I had any money. All right. I didn't know you started off the game with money. That's amazing. buy holy water okay now it doesn't work five-foot giant welcome in happy to see you I've been browsing around on twitch and found I do not care for speed runs they make me so anxious I get that um I tend, I don't really watch a whole lot of speedrunning streams myself. I find uh, casual playthroughs, uh, first time playthroughs and blind playthroughs to be a lot more interesting personally. Um, there are times, there are some times where I'll watch speedruns. Um, but for the most part, for the most part, that's pretty rare. Um, have you seen the AVGN of this video? I have. Um, a flame is on top of the sixth tree in Dennis Woods. It's been a very long time since I've seen it, but I know I have. Uh, 
rumor has it, I I get unreasonably annoyed by orphaned punctuation like that. <laughs> rumor has it, the fairy man at Dead River loves garlic. Buy a thorn whip. Um, it's very weird because when you're in a menu like that, you have to press B to uh, choose an option instead of A. Can I make this jump? It looks real far. Here we are. What a horrible night to have a curse. We're already in the first night. Runs of Speed. What are you playing now? This is uh, this is Castlevania Two: Simon's Quest. It's the second Castlevania game on the NES, and it's uh, it's very different from most of the other old school Castlevania games, in that it's more like open and exploration based. It doesn't have like uh, you know, it doesn't have levels like uh, the the other Castlevanias. Okay, this is actually great because I can uh, grind up my hearts. I read, uh, I read the instruction manual earlier today. The instruction manual is full of lame jokes. And the the backstory that it tells in the first like couple pages is very seem feels very strangely written. What are we doing? Twenty hearts. You really don't build up hearts all that fast. There's gonna be a lot of grinding, I think. I need I need fifty for the holy water and a hundred for the thorn whip. It's outrageous. No comment at all would have been better there. I agree. And welcome in, um, Kinjiru. Glad to have you with us again. What does uh, what does semi blind playthrough mean? So like a, a blind playthrough would be a would be a playthrough where like I go in with no knowledge about the game, playing it for the first time, um, without you know without knowing anything about it. I don't have that luxury with this game because I'm, I'm already kind of spoiled on it and familiar with it from uh, just seeing it around the internet for so many years. So I just want to... I don't want to be falsely advertising what's going on. I missed the, uh, I missed the morning sun box. garlic this was the thorn whip right I guess I better double check <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this town yet no all right if we just get 10 more hearts we can come back and buy the holy water though I talk, oh I didn't talk to this person 13 clues will solve Dracula's riddle Keeping one eye closed the whole time. 
Um, you have a friend in the town of Aldra. Go and see him. I can't read the signs. A magic potion will destroy the wall of evil. I talk to that guy up there? Clues to Dracula's riddle are in the town of Veros. Thing is, I don't know where I am now. I'm rewarding myself with Animal Crossing. Once I get some chores done, I've been procrastinating. Uh, you have uh, you have greater discipline than I do. Let me uh, let me brighten the game up just a little bit uh, here. Maybe it's looking awfully dark. Just a touch. I have time to watch Twitch, but not for chores, apparently. <laughs> most of my uh, most of my Twitch watching is while I'm doing chores, actually. If I like have dishes to do or if I'm cooking, that's when I do most of my uh, watching. I guess I do most of my watching at the end of my streams. Like when we raid another channel, I guess is probably when I do most of my watching, but aside from that. Okay, we got enough for the holy water. No, we already did that. There we are. Right. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't cost anything to use the holy water either. That's good. I feel like this is a town populated solely by experts on arcane knowledge and mythology. <laughs> everyone, uh, everyone speaks in riddles. They seem to have a lot, they seem to have a greater understanding of what's going on than I do. Welcome in. Joe said it's true. Welcome in, Joe. Love this game. So I've never, I've never played all the way through the through this game before. Um, I've been confused on that point um, because I, I feel like I've seen, I've seen so much of this game that it, that it really, it feels like I've played it before, but. Pretty sure I haven't actually done the work of it myself. Can we go into the church? You can't go into the church at night? The door's open. Why can't I go in? 
I mean, I get that. I get that I can't go in at night, but I mean, if the door is open, they really should have made it closed. I'm not sure what's worth more. These enemies here drop a what looks to be a big half of a heart. And the enemies outside of the town drop a, what looks to be a whole heart, but it's much smaller. So I don't know if half of a big heart is more or less than a whole small heart. And I'm not sure if I can get a whole big heart. I mean, I imagine you must be able to. Could just be my game is glitching. <laughs> and that's supposed to be a whole big heart. Sun has vanquished the horrible night. Perfect. <laughs> I am horizontal, vertical sounds hard. <laughs> In relation to chores involved moving. <laughs> oh. That's good. Um, I love this game too. I hate this game, Ma Harrow says. First NES game with a day night cycle? Um first one that I'm aware of. Alright, we don't have enough for the Thorn Whip. We're gonna head back out of town. head over here though well no let's not let's go let's go to the right it looks like I can leave town to the left or the right but I think that right is the way to go we're gonna explore in the in the direction in this direction until we get a hundred hearts or very close to it and then we'll head back to town and get that whip because if I can get a stronger weapon I think it's best to do that earlier rather than later I know there are a lot of uh, there are like five different whips um, because it talks about them all in the instruction manual and it does occur to me that it might be wise to, you know, skip a whip upgrade to save up hearts for a later one, but I'm uh, I'm not gonna actually I'm not gonna actually exercise that potential wisdom. I feel like I got really lucky that, that fireball didn't hit me. Way. Um, oh, we got some more people coming in. Um, <clears throat> half heart is worth twice that of a small whole heart. 
All right. Um, uh, as I as I go through, um, thank you for the information. But as I go through, please uh, don't don't give me information that I don't have. Um, uh, even if it's like stuff like mechanics like that, just uh, just let me wander around without knowing anything um, for a while, please. I enjoy I enjoy I enjoy being poorly or misinformed. <laughs> Ultimate male, welcome in. Good to see you again. Um, how's life treating you, buddy? I uh, hope you've had an awesome weekend. Everyone in the chat too. I've had a really good weekend. Pretty laid back, stress free weekend. Oh, nice. I didn't see what that was, but it refilled my health. That's good. Oh, we're at 100 hearts. Perfect. So I'm wondering if maybe we get a health we get a health refill every time we hit 100 hearts. I think this might be one of the mansions. We'll head back this way in just a moment. Man, the skeletons take a lot of hits at night. No, you're you're fine, uh, Kinjiru. It's uh, I'm uh, I have uh, I have pretty like I have a lot, I have a lot a uh, much stricter interpretation of no spoilers than a lot of people do, so. Um, but you're fine. You're fine. I love this music. This game has a good this game has good music. I think pretty much I think pretty much all Castlevanias have good music though. These spiders, these spiders seem like they're going to be a real nightmare. How far? How far do I have to walk to the right until I find another town? Gotta enjoy the struggle. I like doing things. I like doing things the hard way. I enjoy, uh, I enjoy the, the path of most resistance. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start heading back toward the left um, because things are, I mean, half of my health bar is depleted. Things are. Things are not looking good. I'd prefer to not lose a life. I think I'm ill-equipped to deal with the challenges of this part of the map. Um, I do most of my adulting during the weekend, so I'm trying to make it a a late night playing Switch while watching this. That's why I'm a great viewer, because I'm too clueless to backseat except for Sonic. Uh... doing on hearts 142 we are we are incredibly wealthy when it comes to hearts so we're gonna need to pay attention when the count gets close to 200 because I want to see if our health refills at every uh, 100 let me just take a peek inside here okay. we'll come back Hmm. 
So the strength of the skeleton seems to vary. No, we lost a life. Oh, that's horrible. Did we lose anything else? No, okay. So much for the Deathless run, huh? The skeleton immediately on the next screen. That's a, that's a nasty placement. Well, I don't really need the health refill so much anymore now, but it would be nice to go back and buy that other whip. So I suppose that Simon is just wearing, like, knee-high boots that are very close color to his skin tone, but it kind of just looks like he's barefoot with shorts on. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little bit behind on the uh, chat. When I, find somewhere, uh, when I find somewhere safe to stand, I'll catch up with you. Uh... I think it's safe to stand up here on this uh, ledge. I don't think they can get me up here. Um. I had to do a lot. I had to do a lot of. Uh, I had to do a lot of adult stuff uh, er, very early in the weekend. Um, Pookie stand. Speaking of adulting, I had to. Uh, do some do a lot of paperwork for my bank and take an online course in home buying it was extremely it was extremely dull my banker told me that uh, she said the the course takes about an hour to complete and then i i logged on to it and it takes it takes three and a half hours to complete so i don't know where she got the hour from It's not nice when people come into the stream and immediately try to backseat or tell you where to go or what to do, robbing you of the chance to figure it out yourself. Fortunately, I haven't had too much of that. Um, it, uh, it, it does happen from time to time, but... Uh, Derek Ocean, welcome in. Good to see you. I beat this game once and it was good but confusing. Yeah, I expect to be lost and confused a lot. Playing Dying Light on the Switch for the first time. I'm not even really sure what that game is. Jiru's playing Overwatch, Humankind, and Pokemon Sword. I've never heard of Humankind either. Need a new Pokemon game. Hope it's good. I just love games. I used a guide, no regrets. 
Uh, this game was a maze and a half. I remember my own run of this two years ago. Most NES games are kind of confusing. They expect you have a decent amount of curiosity. Well put. Dying Light is fun. Zombie survival with parkour. Grew up on the NES. The NES, uh, so yeah, I grew up, uh, the NES was, uh, not the first console that I had, but it's one of my, uh, most fondly remembered. NES through N64 is my real sort of sweet spot when it comes to, like, the games that I really grew up with. But I think the NES is my favorite console. I remember playing Fester's Quest when I was like six. I was totally overmatched. I've never, I've never played that one. I understand it to be, to be kind of a nightmare. All right, Thorn Whip. I keep talking to the same, same guys. My whip appears no different. It might actually, you know what? I think it's a little longer. So I, I don't know if we got any. I don't know if we got any additional power, but I think we've got some additional reach. So we're probably... Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to explore a little bit to the left. Hey, Pookie Stan, thanks for the magic beans. We'll, uh, we'll try one out here in just a moment. Let me... Uh, Let me get somewhere safe. Was this the guy who sold me the whip? Have I just gone in a circle? <laughs> I did. All right, I figured it's safe. I figured it's safe to stand indoors. I don't know if the clock runs when I'm indoors or not. We'll have to see. Dying light. It's an open world zombie game. Pretty fun. Mega Man Two, Turtles, Mario, Mario Three, totally rad. Yeah. So the the Mario games. I had Mario 1 and 3. Um, I had Super Sprint. Um, I rented the Lolo games. Um, I had Bartman meets Radioactive Man. Terrible game. Um, it's hard to remember. It's hard to remember what my childhood NES collection was outside of that. I was never into the Mega Man games as a kid. I didn't get into those until more recently. All right, so let's see what we get. Okay, so this one is this one is uh, either booger or pear. got worse it started off bad and then it got worse it's so grass like all right well i lost that one Oh, I lost that one. <laughs> is this your first playthrough? Yeah, this is the first. This is my first time going all the way through the going uh, playing all the way through the game. Um, I know that I've. I know that I tried out a little bit of it at some point a very long time ago, and like I've seen a lot of stuff from it just over the years. So that's why I that's why I uh, that's why I labeled my playthrough semi blind because I've been unfortunately I've been spoiled on on some of the stuff from the game, but we're gonna go through it, and I'm gonna try and figure out. 
as much of it on my own as I can from what I don't, you know, haven't already sort of accidentally learned just over the years of seeing it on the internet. Um, heading off to the left is a bad idea. It's terrible over there. I'm not going that way. Brownie, are you a Simpsons fan? I'm not. I'm not really the biggest Simpsons fan. Um, you know, I've seen a. I've seen a fair chunk of it, especially the older stuff. Um, I actually, I wasn't allowed to watch The Simpsons when I was a kid. It's very weird. My parents. Uh, my parents didn't let didn't let me watch The Simpsons, but they also, <laughs> but they also bought me a Simpsons video game. And I remember having a, I remember ha having a like a Bart Simpson figure when I was a kid, which they also must have bought for me, right? So it's very weird that <laughs> they didn't want me to watch the show, but they're like, "Here's a game, uh, here's a game and a toy based on the show that you can't watch." It wasn't something that was like it wasn't something that was like strictly banned. It wasn't like I I desperately wanted to watch the show and they were shutting me down or something. It's just a, it's something like you know they would never leave it on the TV and I knew that they didn't want me watching it. But I mean I didn't at the same time I didn't I wasn't really particularly interested in watching it when I was a kid either. So I didn't feel I didn't feel like I was losing out on anything. Uh, but I've seen, uh, I've seen a lot of the first, I've seen a lot of the, uh, the, uh, early seasons of the show, um, over the years. These guys, uh, fireballs are, uh, troublesome. I like the color of this place at night. The blue and purple really looks nice. Um, how are you enjoying this game, Agent Frowny? I mean, it's all right so far. We've still just kind of started, so I'm not, I'm not, I haven't really played it long enough to have a very, uh, strong opinion, but it's, uh, it's all right. Bart vs. the Space Mutants on NES. I never beat that game. I had two copies of it on the NES. So I've never I've never played that one. I think I rented I think I rented Bart vs. the World one time. <laughs> that was some terrible jumping. Just just, just flailing around. <laughs> So I know, like, I know there's a lot of stuff with, like, blocks that you can fall through in the game. I don't know how early on in the game that starts to be an issue. So. I'm not sure if we're going to encounter any of that in, in this, uh, in this mansion or not. We'll just have to see. Where are those guys going? What a pointless enemy. It just dances. Oh, we do get big hearts. Nice. 
That guy just, that blob just sort of dances around and goes away. This isn't good. Oh no, I I missed a heart. Okay, so the hearts go away if you don't pick them up quickly enough. I don't think I've seen that happen before now. These blobs are more of a threat in this sort of in this sort of area with the low ceiling. I really hope there's a secret over here. There's not! Oh, I came all this way for nothing. Oh, wait. Never mind, there is a secret. You have to... You have to use the holy water to find secrets. I've been doing it wrong. Um... And it told... The game actually told me that. Um... Too. I just didn't realize it at the time. But I remember one of the villagers said something about... A potion to destroy the wall. I think they were talking about the holy water. Uh, a symbol of evil will appear. Will ap <laughs> they misspelled appear when you strike the stake? So, if I'm going to be looking for secrets, I need to remember to throw the holy water. No! No! The blob! The Simpsons four-player arcade arcade game was so fun. Um, I played that. I, I have a memory of playing that in the arcade uh, once or twice. I don't believe I made it very far, though. Ah. All right. So the... the uh, what, do you, what would you call them? They're not invisible blocks. The trick blocks. The trick blocks exist already. So, we're gonna have to, I'm going to have to be, like, kind of cautious and clever about watching out for, the, for those. They wasted, they wasted no time in getting to them. Probably, I would expect that they're probably over the spikes, too. So we'll just jump just to be safe. Just throwing bones. It's a guy to talk to down there. The NES Simpsons games were BS difficult and cryptic. Uh, so I played through uh, Bartman meets Radioactive Man. Um, I played through and beat it on the uh, on the stream a while back. Um, I actually beat it for the first time several years ago. Um, I never beat it when I was a kid, but I did like finally sit down and beat it a few years ago. And then we did it, we did it on the stream several months ago. And that game it definitely has a couple cryptic parts. But for the most part, um, that one wasn't as uh, that one wasn't as terrible as the other ones seemed to be. Um, I haven't uh, again like I think I, I've only played a little bit of Bart versus the World, and I don't think I've ever played 
part versus the space mutants, but just from what I know of them, what I know from what I know of those games, I would say that that Bartman meets Radioactive Man is probably the best of the uh, NES Simpsons games. I would I would be very surprised to hear that one of those other two is better than it. Okay. Invest in an oak steak. <laughs> yes. So I know we need this to to clear the dungeon, um, or the mansion rather. I like the, I love the choice of words. Invest in an oak steak. Okay, we got another book. Destroy the curse, and you'll rule Brahms Mansion. So this is Brahms Mansion, I suppose. Another book. And there are books everywhere. Feels like I'm playing Shadowgate now. A flame flickers inside the ring of fire. <laughs> I mean, isn't that kind of like when people say, like, uh, the floor here is made of floor. Oh, and I, I missed those uh, pistachios. Uh, Kinjiru, thank you for the pistachios. Let's... Let's enjoy those while the text is pausing the game for us here. That's only two. I want three. Yeah, wait, you're telling me there's fire in fire? Stack Cat, welcome in. Great to see you again. Um, Derek says, I just went to this old school arcade and they had the Simpsons. Right on. Holy Water Hype, yes. A pair ABGN moment. Tuning in between bed while in bed. It wouldn't be Castlevania without trick blocks. Are there trick blocks in other Castlevanias? I don't remember any in 1, 3, 4, or Bloodlines. There are trick platforms. Definitely. I suppose you're probably right. I just don't remember them. It must be cold there this time. Of oh, in Alaska. Bart vs. the Space Mutants is a cool game. I haven't I haven't played that one at all, but it looks pretty rough to me. Still kind of warm. Twenty two Fahrenheit. That sounds like that sounds like good temperatures to me, Stack Cat. Um, we have two different indie movies at work, and I was ushering tonight, so I checked them out tonight for a few minutes. They were so loud and also wild. <laughs> Gross popcorn in winter. You should try Bart versus the Space Mutants. It's a hard game, though. That's all right. I'm a uh, <clears throat> I'm a fan of a I'm a fan of a good difficult game. <clears throat> but I gotta say, I gotta say, it's un it's unlikely that I'll get around to playing that one anytime soon.
<laughs> oh, all right. So there's a there's an invisible block or a hollow block near the pillar. I'm gonna keep calling them invisible blocks, probably. Although that doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Oh, hang on. Can I go through here? I can. Nice. Weird. Weird. You can go through the wall. Um, why would you want to, though? It doesn't look like there's anything over here. I can't go through this wall. No. I thought I found something valuable, but no such luck. Let's take the bottom path first. Oh yeah, it's it's unlikely that I'm gonna play um, Bart versus the Space Mutants though, because I uh, it's not a game I already own, and uh, I uh, I only play on a I, I only I tend to only play on actual uh, hardware, so I'm I don't think I'm gonna go out of my way to add that one to my collection anytime soon. <laughs> But you never know. You never know if I come across it, if I come across it out in the wild for a decent price. You know, it could happen. Watch my health. I love the old Simpsons too. Seasons one through ten, Five Foot Giant says. I remember wanting to love the video and arcade games, but they were so difficult. Some old, st you got some odd stuff at the theater. Speaking of difficult, frowny, Echo the Dolphin is the hardest game ever. <laughs> um, I'll try to, I'll try to get to Echo soon. It's been on my to-do list for a while, so. When I finish up a couple of the games that I'm working on, like um, when I finish up Mission Impossible and Space Station Silicon Valley, then then I'll I'll try to remember to uh, put to put Echo on the uh, on the schedule because I've been uh, I have been wanting to play that for a while now. enough um, why not it's a great game just kidding it's just okay uh, it's okay um, the vast plains where the wild NES games roam exactly um, Derek says I love old Simpsons new Simpsons on the other hand nope echoes decent just gets weird near the end did you finish Silent Hill? We did. I uh, finished Silent Hill on a uh, Friday night. We got the we got the bad ending, unfortunately, but that's kind of what I expected for a first playthrough.
All right, here we go. Excellent. So, not actually sure how to use the stake. I think like this. Perfect. Get the thing. You now, you now possess Dracula's rib. Perfect. That's cool. Look at that. Dracula's rib gives me... It looks like it gives me a shield. I don't usually use shields in games, but we'll... Uh, we'll give it a shot. Might be good against the uh, fireball enemies. So, let me go back over here, because I feel like I didn't explore this very well. Hey, the thing's back. That's weird. I wonder if I get another stake and come and hit the orb again, if we'll get something different out of it. Okay, I don't, I don't appear to be able to get over there, so there's probably nothing. Um, do I have the heart? Yeah, let's try that out. Let's, uh... I'll see if I can buy another stake, and we'll try and hit the orb again and see what happens. I'm just curious. Hopefully, I won't. Hopefully, I won't die uh, trying out this foolishness. Hey, thank you for the trophies, five foot giant. The Dracula barbecue is starting. Wow, I haven't I haven't had barbecued ribs in a long time. Okay, got another steak. I'm glad they didn't make the, sp the steak terribly expensive. I mean, I don't know that it always stays the same price. It might be, we'll find out. It might be more expensive in the in the later uh, mansions, but 50 hearts seems a reasonable price. You now possess Dracula's rib again, all right. Huh, weird. And weird that the, why? I just don't even know. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Wouldn't it be amazing? Wouldn't it be amazing if, like, if you do that a, a lot and then you show up at Dracula at the end? He's, like, extra strong because you built him out of, because you built him out of more body parts than is necessary. <laughs> That would be fantastic. Perfect English, exactly. Do you think Dracula's rib is delicious? Probably not. I imagine that I imagine that Dracula meat would be like very tough and dry. I need to, I need to reselect my holy water. I want to just drop down, but I'm scared to do that, so I don't know what's down there. An enemy's down there. Um, you know what? I'm going to jump for it. It's 
kind of weird that they that they make you walk back out of the mansion. Like you figure, like when you collect the rib, it would teleport you back to the entrance, but no such luck, huh? No, he got me. All right, things things aren't that bad. Dracula's eye looks tasty. Rib hype. Our uh, our platform's gone, so there's there's no going back in. Guess they don't want you repeating uh mansions you've already cleared they don't want you getting duplicate ribs i've already disobeyed the game so i know there's i don't know where it is but i know there's somewhere in the game where there's like a staircase under the water so I'm gonna keep an eye out for that when we get as we move along. Oh no. Um where am I actually trying to go right now, I wonder. Um hmm. I haven't really given much thought to where uh, to what to where to go next. I think I want to Oh Oh, that's not instant death. Nice. Okay, that's good. It's a shame I got hurt, but it's good to know. Why would you come down here? It's just a trap. Nice of them to put the stake in this area and not make you get it far away from here. Um, yes. I'm wondering if maybe uh, that might change, though. Like, as we go along, and like I, I am assuming the mansions are going to get bigger and more complex. Like maybe they'll spread the, they'll put the stake further and further away from the orb to make us wander more. Dracula is super ripped with a <laughs> with a hundred and eighty eight ribs. Uh. It would probably, the rib would grant me powers if I ate it. You think it would turn you into a vampire, though? I gained the powers, but at what cost? Dracula meat would definitely not have a, a garlic flavor unless that's how he died. <laughs> Glorious. Uh, ultimate mail. It looks like he tried to share a link, but unfortunately, links are uh, links are blocked in our chat. Um, uh, maybe one of the alternate endings is if or when you make you make a deformed Dracula out of nothing but ribs. A rib can shield you from evil. I've actually already figured that out, so that's not particularly useful information, now is it? I wonder, I wonder if I should be drawing a map. I think I might regret not drawing a map if I don't. This guy was well hidden. Will you buy a dagger? Yeah, it's not that, not that pricey. So that's instead of my holy water though. And it, doesn't have a particularly useful range the this I think I made a bad decision here this dagger it doesn't go hardly any further than my whip I mean it goes a all right it it goes further it goes a couple blocks further I take it back the dagger's all right
Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Sorry, my uh, <laughs> uh, ultimate mail. The uh, just because it was three, it was only three of them, and my my font in my chat box is so small that it it looked like the the three stars or whatever that come up when something gets blocked. Uh... All right, clues to Dracula's riddle are in the town of Alba. I feel like someone else already told us that. Laurels in your soup enhance its aroma. So, some of the villagers say the same things. You look pale, my son. You must rest in the church. Not a bad idea, actually. Oh, now we can check... Now we can check the uh, church for secrets. Nothing. I mean, this isn't the same church I was investigating either, but... Um, you've got a friend waiting for you in the town of Algeba. These, these town names feel very much like just sort of a mishmash of letters. Laurels in soup? I don't even know what a laurel tastes like. I just randomly threw that. There's really a secret passageway in the bot in the floor. What luck! Oh, I've got to like really. I got to really carve an entrance. All right, I thought the other guy was well hidden. This guy is super well hidden. Purchase a chain whip. Yes, please. I hope I can afford it. And I can. Um, this is shorter than the thorn whip. It better be a lot more powerful. Or I'm going to be quite upset with you. Guy. Clues to Dracula's taste in music are in the town of Abba. <laughs> uh, I know what you mean because I have the exact uh, same bot that does the same thing when I stream. Links are banned to prevent those awful bots. hit in the head. I didn't. Bloody tears hype. I know I was just a uh, I was just bobbing to it. It went away now though, unfortunately. Bloody Tears is such a good song though. Sure we're always picking up the heart pieces. His favorite song is Dancing Queen. That's the only ABBA song I think I know. Not very uh, familiar with ABBA's discography. I really am uh, not crazy about these eyeballs. I actually don't think there's any point to go over to the uh, left here anyway. Hey, that I think that enemy hit me, but I didn't get hurt. I wonder if my shield did that for me. Uh, 
it's very, very difficult to get past this uh, one. This eyeball is coming up and the skeleton's in the way. This is a, no, this is a bad spot to be. And it's not worth it to come over here. Why did I do it? The eyeballs do have a, I think, a benefit. Uh, they're probably really good for grinding, uh, for grinding up your hearts. Um, okay, I know where that was with the spiders, huh? Looks like a door in the background. Okay, I know where we are now. I came over here and was scared and retreated before, so this is uh, this is good. This is new stuff. Can I break any of these, perhaps? Ooh. I can't. Alright, so we can go to the left. Let's go to the right first, though. I wish it wasn't... I wish it wasn't nighttime. I wish it wasn't nighttime. Um, have I gone in a circle? I think I went in a circle. That looks, this looks very familiar. Mm, I think they just repeated, I think they just repeated a screen there. Um, I'm not sure what towns I've been to. Um, so far, uh, so far I don't know what any of the town names are. I figured there would be a villager that would say, you know, welcome to the town of, you know, X whenever I walked in, but nope. And there's a sign in every town, but so far I've been unable to read it, so... I don't know if Simon can read. There's another uh, spot on the floor. Seems like they're going to be doing a lot of this. Breaks open differently, though. Not gonna lie, for a second I thought I was asking if you want to buy a chainsaw for 150 hearts. Oh man, that would be awesome. Buy some garlic. Uh, yes. The garlic is a consumable item, so I want to be careful. And not use my garlic, I think. I feel like so it's a the garlic I think the garlic's one of the another one of the things that's been kind of spoiled for me. I'm not sure. And I'll I'll figure I'll I'll try and figure it out, but I think the garlic is supposed to be used in a graveyard. This, uh, so I'm, I'm enjoying a lot of the stuff in this game. I really like the, the uh, purple bricks here in the background. Um, this game has a, this game has an advantage, um, in getting me to, to like it. Like I come in already predisposed to wanting to like it. Um, not only because it's a Castlevania game, but because, um, 
Order of Ecclesia, um, in one of the later Castlevania games, takes a lot of inspiration from Simon's Quest, and so, and I really like that game. So, Simon's Quest gets an advantage because of its association with another game I like. Dracula's eyeball reflects the curse. Was that was that information really worth coming all the way down here into the basement? Sure hope there's a church in this town. Buy some garlic, it has special powers. That should be the name of the game, Simon the Illiterate Vampire Hunter. Clues to Dracula's Riddle are in the Veros Woods. Buy some garlic and a special powers. It's also great in spaghetti. I love garlic. I I I am crazy for garlic. I use it in everything I cook. And I use a lot of it. I use way too much of it. But it's alright. It's not too much for me because I like it. Buy some of my laurels. Yes. I'm getting low. I'm getting low on cash. <laughs> I've just been buying everything I come across. And... That's not gonna last. That's uh, I'm not gonna be able to to maintain this. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to maintain this uh, lavish lifestyle I've been enjoying. Garlic goes a long way. I oh I know, but I. Uh, clues to Dracula's riddle. Or in the Vero Switz. Sorry, we, we read that before. I forgot it, but after I read it for the second time, I remembered it. I believe this person's going to say the same thing. Oh, no. Clues to Dracula's Riddle are in Rover Mansion. The villagers, they're all just telling me to visit all the areas of the game as if I wasn't going to do that anyway. <laughs> A laurel will protect you from the poison marsh. The dead river waits to be freed from the curse. To restore your life, shout in front of the church. <laughs> I'd like to exchange a white crystal for a blue one. Okay. Did he? He did. I refuse to exchange my crystal for yours. <laughs> Alright, well, we got the blue crystal. Let's see what it does. Definitive proof you're not a vampire. Or Dracula, at least not garlic seasoned Dracula. I, I don't think I would survive. I don't think I would survive very long as a vampire. I would I would uh, immediately eat some garlic and destroy myself by uh, by accident.
So I didn't see a church in this town. So we're just gonna keep going. Hey, here's the graveyard. So I think this is where I'm supposed to use the garlic, but I'm not sure exactly where. Can I make this jump? Oh. Not a horrible night to have a curse. My money says if anything, Frowny is a werewolf. Look at that. Look at that magnificent beard. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't, uh, I haven't trimmed my beard in eight months, I think. Last time I trimmed my beard was at the very end of February. I haven't touched it since I started streaming. I don't think I can make this jump. That looks, that looks just out of my reach. Well, let's uh, let's use a garlic and see if anything happens. Hey, perfect. I'll give you this silver knife to save your neck. That's the silver knife. I really like it, but it doesn't look silver to me. It looks very gold. Thanks. Can I take my garlic back? Nope. All right, upgrade. The purple hands. The purple hands are the toughest enemy in the game. All right, so there was another path to the left if we leave town. So that's what we'll do. I like the thought that vampires don't die to garlic, but they're more garlic intolerant. <laughs> could be. You could be onto something. Not gonna I don't think I'm gonna live much longer unfortunately so I believe we lose at least our hearts when we die I'm not sure how far back we're gonna get set progress wise other than that Looks like my stream has crashed. Well, let's see. Maybe it will come back. Uh oh, that's not good. That's unfortunate.
All right, so we're going to uh, we're going to try to uh, <laughs> to reboot and get the stream back. I'll see you again in just a moment. 